Hey everyone, Brian here with Honest Mechanic. Today I wanted to talk to you about some common bad headlight relay symptoms that you should look out for. A faulty headlight relay can leave you without headlights when driving at night, which is extremely dangerous. Catching relay issues early could save you from getting stranded in the dark. The headlight relay is an electrical switch that controls power to your headlights by opening and closing circuits. When it fails, power can't get to your headlights properly, leading to all sorts of problems. One of the most obvious signs of a bad relay is headlights that completely stop working. You go to turn them on and nothing happens at all. No high beams, no low beams, just nothing. Your relay isn't able to open and close that power circuit anymore to activate the lights. Another symptom is flickering headlights that flutter on and off while driving. If you notice some occasional flickering, that relay may be on its way out. Faulty contacts inside the relay can intermittently lose contact, turning your lights off momentarily before regaining connection, but the flickering usually gets worse over time. You might also notice that your low and high beam functions stop working properly. For example, maybe your high beams work, but flipping the lever down to low beam does nothing. In this case, the contacts controlling one of the beams has likely failed inside the relay. You may only get operation on certain headlight settings. A bad relay can also cause issues like headlights that stay on after you shut off the car. Normally, power should be cut to your headlights when you turn off the vehicle. But if relay contacts remain stuck closed, current continues flowing through to the lights. This drains your battery. Another sign is uneven or dim headlights where one headlight seems less bright than the other. The relay isn't distributing voltage evenly to both light bulbs. You may also see this manifest as lights that are dimmer than normal. Again, that failing relay just can't handle the proper electrical load anymore. And finally, a clicking noise coming from the relay itself can indicate internal damage. You may hear rapid clicking whenever you turn on the lights. Arcing contacts are attempting to connect inside despite physical wear or burned spots. So what actually causes a headlight relay to fail in the first place? Well, over time, electrical relays wear out from heat cycling during normal operation. Every time the relay turns the lights on and off, contacts heat up and cool down, expanding and contracting. This eventually degrades the material. Dirt, dust, and grime can also build up on contacts over the years, interrupting signal. Higher voltage spikes and excessive current from electrical system issues can prematurely fry relays too. Even humidity seeping into the component can impact operation as moisture impacts electrical conductivity. Replacing a worn-out headlight relay before it fails completely is smart preventative maintenance. A new relay only costs around $15 to $25, bucks, and while you're there, inspecting the relay socket for corrosion buildup is also a good idea since that can spread to the new relay. Use some electrical contact cleaner spray to help clean things up. Diagnosing exactly which relay is causing symptoms can be tricky. Your vehicle may utilize a single master headlight relay. Other systems have two separate high and low beam relays, and some modern cars now use electronics instead of traditional mechanical relays. Checking your owner's manual is always the best place to start. Locating the relay may take some digging around up under the hood. Common spots are in the junction box or various underdash fuse boxes. Again, that trusty manual knows exactly where to look. Pulling suspected relays and swapping in new ones is the best way to confirm if you have a faulty component. I hope this breakdown gives you a better understanding of headlight relay failure symptoms. Diagnosing odd electrical problems can be complicated, but arming yourself with the right knowledge helps. Let me know if you have any other lighting questions.